I basically just wanted to say that there's no excuse for what you have done. I don't care if it's drugs or upbringing, you know. We all go through hard times growing up, at least the majority of us have. You have the opportunity to change that. You have the opportunity to, you know, see that you have a problem. There's, you know, I've been in recovery a little over three years. In AA, I drank for 41 years. I realized I had a problem. Um, so there's just, basically to me, you took the easy way out. It's, uh, you did the most cowardly, weakest things that you could do possible. You know, you, you meet a person in school, you say he's your friend, you become friends, you become a girlfriend, boyfriend, lovers, gain his trust. An innocent person that's very kind would do anything for you. And I believe you used that and you had this plan and took your opportunity when you did. There's no excuse, you know, I don't see it no other way. Um, to take advantage of someone's kindness like that, that's like the most irritating thing for me. You know, you get to know somebody and they trust you and then you do that. You say, and then you, you say that you're a friend, you're his friend, you said that in the statements. It's like, man. But you know, I walked into a program and it's free. You know, you can go get help and it's free. All over the place there's help. And it doesn't cost a dime, you know. It's either, and the first thing they tell you in there, you know, you want to continue doing what you're doing. It's going to be jails, institution, or death. And you chose that path, and you chose the wrong path. They sit here talking about being rehabilitated. Is, is, is Shad's mother going to ever rehabilitate from this? No, but you can go to an institution, you can go to prison and try to be really rehabilitated, but I don't see no reason why you'd have parole after the doctor had just mentioned once you have so much damage that it's irreversible. You know, so why would... <laughs> don't make no sense to me even to have the option of parole to come back and to gain someone's trust like that again. And, you know, because that is like the lowest thing a person can do. You know what I mean? I just don't understand that. And the biggest thing is, you know, it, like I said, you know, the help is free and it's there. You chose not to take, you know, you, I'm sure you knew you had a problem, you know. You can't blame it on childhood. You know, there's help out there. And if you take the path to go get the help, you wouldn't be in this situation right now. None of us would be in this situation. But to take the cowardly path that you did, and to make other people suffer because you are suffering. Name Taylor Ship Business fits you well. And I'm not a praying man, but after Judge Walsh here's sentence here today, I will pray that you meet the same fate as your idolistic Jeffrey Dahmer. So have a Uh, the, the next speaker will be a, a statutory crime victim, so we'd ask the media to be advised of that judge. Okay. Um, I just want to. All right. They're indicating they they are uh, going to take going to make sure that they're not being. Sir, before you start, if you just state your name for the record. Michael Therian. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Taylor, I just wanted to say that uh, I forgive you for what you've done to my son. And, uh, yeah, you made a bad choice, and now you have to live with it. Uh, but, you know, 
I'm gonna miss Shad. He, he was a he was a wonderful child too. He, growing up, just mild mannered and just happy, and and uh, I know you made a bad choice, and and uh, like I said, I forgive you, and and I'm gonna ask the judge if he can, you know, if she can see the streets again sometime, you know. It, it may not be soon, but uh, I believe I believe everybody. Uh, makes bad choices and maybe not to the scale but uh i think there's a lot of hope for you i think you know you can make use of your time and be a better person and uh do great things yet you know so it does no good for me to hate you you know uh i know i know you got a heart i know you got a mind and uh, I wish you no harm, and I and I hope things I hope things go well for you. That's all I got to say. Okay, thank you. Hmm. Michael Therian. That was out of left field. The dad, after the uncle called her all kinds of names, totally gets up different. there and says. I'd like her to see the light of day at some point and, and forgives her. Wow. Wow. That's something you don't usually hear, but every once in a while we do hear victims come in and say it like that. And the uncle, though, completely different uh, demeanor from him. Great story from him that he was able to get over his addictions, but it was after a long amount of time. I can't believe the judge allowed that applause. Yeah, that was a bit much. Um, but wow, okay, let's uh, get a break in here and then uh, head back to Wisconsin and see what happens next. You heard that she does plan to address the court. Sounds like after the sentencing, she'll say something. Mm -hmm, at some like point. an allocution. Yeah, let's go get a break, get you back to Wisconsin after this.